When we think of nature, we usually think of living things such as plants and animals. The biotic components of an ecosystem include all the living things in an area. This is a monarch butterfly, and this is a tiger swallowtail butterfly. You decide. Why are these butterflies different from each other? These butterflies are members of two different species. A species consists of a group of organisms which can successfully reproduce among themselves. Members of the same species possess similar characteristics. They often appear and behave similarly, like these Canada geese. A group of the same species in the same area is called a population. For example, the water lilies in this pond make up a water lily population. And the geese in this field make up a population. As do the turtles in this pond. Rarely in nature is a single population of organisms the only population in a place. For example, in this wetland, located in the Florida Everglades, there are populations of alligators, anhingas, fish, and water lilies, to name just a few. All these different populations of living things make up a community. A community consists of all the living organisms in an area. Ecologists often categorize areas by natural communities. A natural community consists of all of the plants and animals interacting with their environment. The definition of a natural community is similar to that of an ecosystem. But the size of an ecosystem is variable, from as small as a tidal pool to as large as an entire mountain range. Ecologists tend to refer to natural communities in more localized areas, such as hillsides, swamps, or forests. For example, this community is referred to as a hemlock forest. It's called that because hemlocks are the dominant tree, although many other plants and animals are found here.